Rick and Morty is something that, for you guys on this channel, needs no introduction. We've covered it loads of times, so really, we don't need to get into the details about it. Gravity Falls, on the other hand, is something we've never discussed. Just like Rick and Morty, Gravity Falls explores theories of the multiverse. It's one of the major connecting narratives that link all the series together. So there's already quite a strong connection there between Rick and Morty and Gravity Falls. But this is going to go a lot deeper. Just for this video, we're going to ignore any real world ties between the two shows. In particular, their two creators are both very good friends and they've said many times that they're going to include little references for each other's work just because they're friends, you know? So today, what we're going to do is focus on the content of each show. So, we're going to be starting here at Rick and Morty Season 1, Episode 10. During Rick's exhilarating escape from the Council of Ricks, he opens a number of portals to confuse his pursuers. And you'll probably miss this the first time you watch, but look closely at the items that come out of one of these portals. A pen, a notebook, and a coffee mug sporting a question mark. Now then, if we jump straight over to Gravity Falls Season 2, Episode 7, we can see that the moment that Grunkle Stan fires up his own multidimensional portal, he loses three items, and they are a pen, a notebook, and the exact same question mark sporting coffee mug. That does make sense, doesn't it? So we already have a connection there between the two shows that's undisputable, but we can go even further. In the Rick and Morty episode in which Jerry and Beth go to marriage counselling, we can see that in the background on one of the monitors will be an image of Gravity Falls' greatest villain, Bill Cipher. So this is perhaps suggesting that the residents of Universe C-137, I believe, from Rick and Morty are already aware of Bill Cipher's existence and are actively studying him. This could be some kind of crossover but it's more likely just an easter egg. Also quickly, just to end on, it's also worth a mention that in Season 1, Episode 8, during the first multi-dimensional Cable episode, you can see something that looks very similar to Bill Cipher on a taxi during one of the shows. Now, it looks a lot like him, but I'm going to leave it to you guys to decide whether or not this is actually a reference or not. So, there we have it guys, they were some of the Gravity Falls easter eggs in Rick and Morty. I'm really excited for the new season 3 of Rick and Morty, starting on the 30th of July I believe, and I'm kind of interested to see whether any more Gravity Falls easter eggs pop up. Very interesting to see that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up here guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, I'd really appreciate a like, comment and subscribe, as well as following me on Twitter. I've been the Royal Gorilla. Over and out. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player. No but Easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke aka the Roy Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. And cut!